The name Chirumira means something sticky which spoils somebody's food. Now, Inspector General Kotho Chola has enjoyed enormous goodwill from the public that had lost trust and respect for Uganda police since he was appointed the country's chief keeper of law and order over a month ago. But Mr. Oshola's honeymoon is fast coming to an end as he has to deal with the same credibility issues of his predecessor. The first major one is dealing with that sticky something posed by renegade assistant superintendent Mohamed Shirumida, who is poised to spoil Ochola's honeymoon party. When the police disciplinary court recommended the demotion of ASP Mohamed Shirumida after quitting him of all serious charges and convicting him only for parading suspects, they could have missed an opportunity to further enhance the goodwill the new force leadership has been enjoying. Shirumira is generally seen as a crime buster and public hero who was being persecuted by the previous administration whose appointing authority described as weevils. Convicting Chirumira thus opens up different and necessary interpretations. IGP Okotha Chola's administration is already falling into the same trap that Chilimila laid for the last administration who went and stayed a gangster like Brekin at his modest house and arrested him, yet he was preparing to take himself to court, then locked him up when his pregnant wife was due to deliver. This time, Chirimira, whether justified or not, the pressmen have blacklisted the force and placed a low intensity boycott on police functions. The honoring of Commonwealth Games gold medalist at police headquarters Naguru was a major casualty and lukewarm reports only started coming out 24 hours after the event in this era of real-time communication. Legalities aside, IGP Okotho Chola himself voiced condemnation of Chirumira while meeting members of parliament the day the sentence was passed. But in the court of public opinion, Chirumira, who rose to prominence while still an assistant inspector of Nansana for cracking down on criminal gangs and denouncing the practice of senior officers being godfathers to criminals, is believed to have been a victim of the influential Border Border 2010 gangs, which he was fighting as DPC Old Kampala and could have caused his transfer to rural Biende. As fate would have it, on the weekend of the media slowdown and police activities, the Sun Division broke the story that evidence in the killing of AIGP Felix Kawesi, the slain policeman, had been stolen. Now, Chirumira was a protege of Kawesi, and when his superiors tried to arraign him in 2013, it is Kawesi who saved him and instead sent him for a command course, on completion of which he was promoted to ASP and deployed as divisional commander of the key old Kampala division. The coincidence with Chirumira's conviction and the disappearance of evidence in the so far unresolved Kawesi murder did not look good at all. While the motive of Kawesi's killing has not been established, the reported disappearance of evidence a month after the new administration took office marks a mere change of guard and not a fundamental change in the running of police. While releasing Chirumia to go and pursue a political career as an ally of police and parliament is the simpler option, Mr. Ochola's administration's choice to continue fighting a smaller man who has less to lose is bound to cost the force more in terms of image. Moreover, Chirumia has also positioned himself as the voice of the suffering low-ranking officers who have no voice. So a fight between him and the police leadership is bad for morale among the ranks. In fact, in a disciplined force, even the high-ranking officers cannot air their grievances freely. So Chirumira could be a hero for both junior and senior officers. Chirumira also continues to try baiting the police leadership into making blunders. He is active on social media where he has made his conviction look flawed as it for parading suspects in 2013 before even his promotion and which was standard practice by the force. He also avers that he is not fighting to remain in the police but just wants to appeal the conviction so as to retire honorably and go to parliament to help police solve its problems. Of course, there is no guarantee that he would win a parliamentary seat if he stands in 2021. A good commander chooses his battles carefully and for now, IGP Okotha Chola might achieve nothing but lose a lot by fighting Chirumira. 
Much will depend on the outcome of Chirimila's appeal.